Hi, my name is Kevin and I'm from Easy Generator Switch. Uh, today we'd like to discuss with you the difference between a manual transfer switch and automatic transfer switches. We have so many questions come into us through email and uh, I thought maybe I could explain this and make it a little bit easier. Uh, there's a huge difference in money, number one. Uh, automatic transfer switches have basically a, a push-pull relay style in it, whereas a, a manual transfer switch means that, such as ours, you're in the normal mode and you would be plugged into here when your generator is running. So when you lose power with ours, um, you would just switch this to generator and you'd be plugged in and you'd be running. When your power comes back on, you'd know that because the rest of your house comes up, you would come out here, pull the cord out, and switch this back to the normal mode. That is a manual. You are manually making that transfer. Now, an automatic transfer switch, much larger. Uh, this happens to be 100 amp rated, and that's the other thing. When you go to an automatic transfer switch, the transfer switch has to be rated for what you are going to, the, the load you're transferring. So if you're doing an entire house and you have a 200 amp service, you're going to need a 200 amp transfer switch. This is a 100 amp transfer switch. And what this one is particularly doing, and we do not make this, I just brought this so you can see the difference. This one senses when the power goes in and out, and this, these, are, these are basically relays, and they pull in or out and let the power either come from the generator or the power come from the street. In this case, this transfer switch transfers the power and then energizes this uh, 10 circuit, circuit breaker panel. And that's, that's the difference. The, the primary, besides dollars, is you could be out of town and this system is going to transfer automatically. Most of the generators then, when you're dealing with automatic transfer switches, are much bigger. They probably start the 8,000 watt uh, and go up from there. Um, this one happens to run, this is a 100 amp, and it's married up to an 8,000 watt generator. Um, we do them all different sizes. Uh, we're doing one actually tomorrow that is a 20 kW generator and it's going to handle a, uh, a 200 amp transfer. So the, the mechanics, the money, the time, everything that's involved with an automatic trans transfer switch is nothing like our small manual uh, transfer switch. The, the whole purpose that we designed this was for us to be able to have our customers get their essential loads turned on for the least amount of money. And in doing so, it has to be manual. As you can see, this is one circuit, but the size alone of the controls for this transfer switch is bigger than our whole single circuit transfer switch. So it, 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 it's a money issue, it's a generator size issue. Um, when you're doing a manual small unit such as ours, there are other advantages. You're not dealing with a big generator. You're dealing with a generator that is more user friendly. Maybe you want to use it to go camping or hiking. You're going to take it and camp overnight. You can grab a little generator. A small little generator will easily run a single circuit transfer switch. So as you can see, there is quite a difference between the two. And um, we would be happy to answer any of the questions uh, you're welcome to visit us at our website at www.easygeneratorswitch.com and send us questions and uh, any other questions that you may have, maybe not even pertaining to the manual automatic, uh, we'd be happy to help with. Um, I appreciate it and thank you very much.